I'm going to use this example for hammocking because this nerve often is suffer strain or, or tr traction due to inversion ankle sprains. Okay, so once you've plugged the nerve, okay, so let's say the nerve is right here. I'm not actually going to insert. Okay, I I'm gonna I'm gonna put this needle. I'm not gonna put it right on the nerve because by the time I insert, I would have overshot. I'm gonna maybe start about a centimeter above. Okay, and so that after I insert, I advance the needle under the nerve. That idea, ideally, it's like this idea. Okay. Now, if you go slowly, you don't have to worry about needling to the nerve. If you go slowly, the nerve actually move out of the way. Okay. I feel the nerve underneath my index finger right now. I go a little bit higher. Try to avoid any veins. Okay. Uh, by here, I go tap at the ready to start now. Okay. One, two, three. And this is the the handling. I go slowly. Insert with the skin. Okay, I'm not pushing, I'm slowly teasing and rotating. How about the sensors? These are C, okay? And then as I approach the nerve, you see he feels a little bit tingling going down towards the toe? That's fine. Okay, so I'm about at least a centimeter in. I'm hoping that the tip is close enough to the nerve now, and I'm going to retest. Let me know if anything is too strong locally, but I'm looking for propagation, okay? So you do a quick touch to make sure it's not too strong for him. Is that okay? Okay, do you feel anything local or, or distal? Time to time. Perfect, okay. Like up to here or? Huh? Yeah, right perfect. perfect, okay. Now, hone in a little bit. Do you feel a branch that goes to the bottom at all? Do you feel a little bit of the bottom of the, the foot lighting up? Yes. Yeah, right? So what happens is that nerve actually splits at the fifth tuberosity of metatarsal to at 63, it becomes 64, classic 64. So 62, 63 is the branch point, 64 underneath. And then 63, after 63, we have 64, then 65, 66, okay, in here.